I'll go see the neighbor down the block over here. He has a pension plan with me. It's ten minutes after seven. I suppose to see him about uh, another ten minutes. Well, we'll drive over. Well, I hope I can make this some schedule. You work this hard often? Not, um, not that often. It's just that I'm going to Las Vegas tonight. And because I'm going there, I want to, I'm going to be gone four days. So I, before I go away, I really like to put in a good day's work. Well, who's the first person we're going to see? Well, on to this friend of mine whose name is Michael. And he has an 18-acre estate. And he has with me four and a half million. No, four million dollars. He got 4.1. Four million, 100,000 he has. Oh, hello, Mike. I'm going to see you for a few minutes. How are you? By the way, this is my friend Jonathan. He's hello. the audio man. Hello. And is uh, Dave Hoffman. He's the cameraman. I want to talk to you for a couple of minutes. Let's go to, into the pool. How does it feel to have a building named after you? I named pretty near everything after me. Yeah, Not well. only a building. I named boulevards. Streets. Streets. Avenues. avenues es estates. Why? Huh? Why? I guess well, I have a good time. name and a good, uh, and I'm uh, proud of that good name. Put it that way. Uh, that. When we go down, we go down in, in Sayasit. There's a street called uh, Eileen Way, right? Named after my daughter, yeah. Eileen, and he did a, a development called Eileen Gardens after right. his daughter, and he got another thing called uh, Michael Drive. That's his name, and he got a thing called the Forte Building and the Forte Towers and. Uh, Forte Estates in Old Westbury. Yeah. Put it that way. How many acres do you have here, Michael? 20 acres. Beauty. He's worked 20 years. For what? That overnight, upon his death, everything, everything, he worked for everything in vain? That all of a sudden, the family has to pull up the roots and move from a beautiful, high-class, well-to-do neighborhood to a poor neighborhood just because he died? His well-meant dreams for his family should be extinguished at his death? Ridiculous. You know, with all his plans, you know, if I may quote, to a field mouse, the mouse is thou know thy lane, improving foresight may be vain. The best laid schemes of mice and men gain after glay and lead us north of grief and pain for promised joy. That's by um, Robert Burns and to a field mouse. What does this mean? Man has plans. And a man doing, is financially well off. Upon his death, all his plans could crack. And they become brittle upon his death, his plans. And they become brittle when what happens to something brittle, it breaks. Why? Because the first thing Uncle Sam comes in, and I mentioned, I show my people this book, dealing with, with taxes, estate taxes. I want your money. My bank, uh, this is my building over there, my office, Franklin National Bank. I got a rusty office, I got a lot of dictation to do, and I got a few phone calls to make, and we got another about four or five or six appointments, and then we have this uh, cocktail and dinner tonight, and then I got to rush to the airport and we're going to Las Vegas. Oh, hope we have space. a good time in Las Vegas. Oh, there's one thing I've learned to do. I learned to work hard and play hard. I learned to work hard and play hard. Now I've got to park this car, get into the office. Oh, there's a space right over here. One hour is all we got, and it's going to be a busy schedule. I've got 17 hours to do today. 17 hours. How much is left? Oh, about another 11, I think. I've been here. Um, no, insurance, lawyers, accounts. I've been 10 11 years. Here's my office. I've been here for about over five years. And you never knew my office, have you? No. Huh? No. Well, you look beautiful today. This is Barbara, by the way. Hi. Hi. We're about an hour behind I schedule, know. as you probably know. Right. You got everything ready? Right. Mail, etc. Huh? You want to get going? Okay, let's see what I have for today. You got your literature first? Uh, this is nothing but advertising. No. Keep this. <coughs> fine, fine. I take this one to read. The stuff I read, literature stuff I read over the weekend. Let's go. <coughs> now. Oh, Arnold J. Remenick's policy came in. Wonderful. This is Arnold J. Remenick's policy. Just came in. You mean to tell me you do so much business out of this little office? We do more business out of this office. There's about 20 insurance companies in this office, in this building. Well, I'd say 10. 
there's about 10 insurance companies, no, there's more. There's about 15 insurance agencies or companies here. And they got five people working for them, or 10 or 15. We do more. We two do more than any single office in this building. And we got the least space. Is that right, Barbara? <laughs> hey, Barbara, I'm getting a little nervous. Give me a scotch. How do you do it? How do you do it? How do you do it? Give me a little scotch. You want to have one for yourself? How do you do it? What? How do you do it? We go for the big clients. In other words, there's offices in this building that have more clients than I have, that sell more policies than I do, but they don't say the large amounts than I do. I'm told about amounts. big people? I look for them. Barbara and I. How do you find them? One recommends another. I take them out socially. I take them out for dinner. I take them out for cocktails. I wine and dine them. Of course, my entertainment must run me about 20000 a year. Doesn't everybody do that? No. They either don't have the foresight to do it, or else they don't want to make the investment. But you got to make the investment. I do this because this gets me calmed down, because I, I can see how busy you're going to be today. All right, now. You're going to be right. dead when you get to Las Vegas. Are you kidding? I learned two things in life. How to work hard and how to play hard. At the same time? No, different times. Watch me get to Las Vegas. You won't believe it's me. You notice I started calm this morning, nice and easy, slow? As the day goes, it's like a, a rolling stone that picks up moss. I start very slowly. And then towards, this is now what, quarter to one? It starts to pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. The pace gets faster, 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 faster. It's like running a race. At the end of the race, you have your, your last sprint. What are you going to say? Oh. So this is reproduction of the mall mat and by, uh, this painting was done by Maurice Rotillo. This is the mall mat and this is a, called the Church of Sacre Coeur. You see? Beautiful church. And I was there having a ham and cheese sandwich with uh, my wife a few years ago. Now, are you in this book? Uh, no, but I'm in some other book. Now, let me go through some of the mail because, you know, we've got a busy schedule. <clears throat> This is a uh, hundred thousand, my wife. This is how much? One hundred and fifty. I bought one hundred fifty for my wife, right? Yeah, female age. Yeah, so and so. Uh, this is a uh, hundred and fifty for my wife. One. One hundred fifty what? Three thousand. Thousand what? I bought one hundred fifty thousand life insurance on my wife. After all, if anything happens to my wife, I lose the marital deduction also, and I lose the advantage of the split income. I have to pay tax as head of the household, rather than on a joint return. Plus the fact that I have to have a governess to take care of my four kids. That's going to cost money. Oh, you know I'm going to Las Vegas? Oh, yeah, I heard. Oh, hurry up. Ah, uh, you know I, I do... You're I, a pretty lucky guy. I get too... Well, she, she works for General Motors next door. And my General Motors stock, which I bought for the profit sharing plan, I paid 9300 for it for the profit sharing plan. $9,300 for a profit sharing plan. It's taking stock as 8100 So we're losing $1,200 on the profit sharing plan. But the only good thing about General Motors, even though the stock is down, is that she works for General Motors. She comes and gives me massages. <laughs> hey! Listen, I saw your wife today. Glory, I saw her without any makeup on. And I said to her, look, Annie wants to go to Las Vegas. She says, he can't go. I says, why not? She says, there are too many gorgeous girls there and too many starlets and too many hookers. Yeah, hookers. You know what hookers are. A hooker is a high-class courtesan. A low-class courtesan, sorry. A hooker is a low-class co courtesan. So anyway, she said this. She may let you go to New York tonight on this party we're having before we go to Las Vegas with Arnold J. Remnick. I just called... I said, we're doing both, I told her. So what's the story? Are you... She's allowing you to go? She's letting you go! Mother God! Congratulations. You're really going. Remnick is coming with Gally enough. All right? Plenty. You can't handle it all. You can't handle it! Today we live, tomorrow we may be dead. I'll, I'll read you my poem tonight, it's called Satan's Angel. Hey, you know what your wife said to me? She said, I wish I, wish I knew you were coming, I would have worn a bra. I swear to you, I would have worn a bra. Yeah, I call without a bra. She looks good, she had her house coat on. It felt nice. Goodbye, buddy. So anyway, how long is this junket for? Uh, a weekend, four days. Why is it worth their while? What if you all win? I don't care if they win or lose. The idea is I make all my friends happy. They're all happy, and I guarantee you, result of this trip, I'll do a couple hundred thousand worth of business. The health, 
Prosperity and Las Vegas. Girls, we're going to have lunch. We're going to eat at King Snack Bar, named after me, King. Now listen, after this, we got one, two, uh, we got one, two, four more appointments for the afternoon. Boy, I don't know how we're going to do it. Let's hurry up. Come on, girls. Let's fast hamburger. Over here, we'll sit at the table there. No hurry. We don't have much time. Yeah, right over here. I'll sit in the middle. Here, Kings. Hi. How are you, mailman? Claire. Yeah, yeah. Claire, here's the story. We're going to Las Vegas tonight. I am, not these girls. The husbands won't let them go, right? Your husband won't let you go? Your husband won't let you go. Okay. And um, after this, we've got uh, one, two, three, four more places to go. Four more places. What do you want? Um, what do you want? Hamburger. She wants a hamburger. Yeah. What do you mean, really order? What do you think we're doing here? Okay. How fast can we get them? We're on a high schedule. Yeah. Three rare hamburgers, okay? Three rare hamburgers. You sure you don't want to go to Las Vegas tonight? Oh, I'm sure. Can't make it? No, it's not. All right, order as fast as you can. We got the best cracks, hot dogs, burgers in this city. Can you get those as fast as you can, Claire? We're behind schedule. Okay. Five, eight minutes. We got to leave here because I got another appointment at two fifteen to two thirty. Pass the ketchup, please. I'm, I'm rushing. I won't have a chance to eat the whole hamburger. Claire, will you do me a favor? Yeah. What's the bill? Two what? Here's three dollars. Pay the tip for me. I won't have a chance to pay it. Keep the change. Okay. Okay, pay it for me. Well, let me get back to what we're doing now. We're going to Las Vegas sometimes late tonight, but we're going to see Ernie Sandler now, and maybe his mother, of Interstate Drug. This morning we saw uh, Ernie's wife and Gloria, and Marvin's wife Gloria. They both have the same name, Gloria. And we're seeing Ernie, he's a very funny guy, and he's going to meet us tonight in New York. Good yeah, morning, Marie. You getting tired already? No, I just, I only yawn to slow down my pace. You see, I'm like a, a stone that rolls down a hill, not a, a moss. No, a rolling stone that gathers moss. Um, if I feel my engine or motor starts to run within me, you know, Start slow like in the morning, slow, faster, 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 faster. And I feel if I'm going too fast, I take a deep breath. And I yawn, it slows me down. Otherwise, I get too fast, I go too fast. I have to slow down my pace. I'm only going to be about 10 minutes, 15 minutes behind schedule, which is not bad at all. How long will it take to get to where we're going? 10 minutes. Murray King, tell him I'm rushing. I have a very tight schedule. I'm leaving for Las Vegas tonight. He, I told you, he and his brother have a half a million. So you have to buzz to let you in. All right. I got my own. Where's your mother? Look, here she is. Come on, let's go. I'm here to meet my mother. Where's your mother? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what do you mean, your mother? Where's my mother? Where's mother? The mother. Yeah, okay, here. So. And say hello another hundred thousand. Why didn't you prepare me? me. Huh? Tell you what. Prepare me for this. I got some applications. I figure you need another hundred thousand. You're not insured for enough. I need another hundred thousand if you pay for the uh... trip to Europe. Uh, no, for the premium. Oh, the I premium. thought you wanted me to pay for your trip to Europe, like oh, last time. Oh, the Jackie. premium. Well, let me take a look at my hair, at least. You look great. You look I just, marvelous. You look I just beautiful. walked in. I got a guy for you, by the way. Come back. We don't have got a film, Mrs. Sandler. Oh, you mean you're shooting the yeah. video? Hey, I'm shooting the video. Mr. Sandler, I got a guy for you. You don't have to wash your socks. I spoke to you. Is that so? I said, I got a gorgeous woman for you. Gorgeous woman. But there's one thing. Is that He says, what's the catch? Yeah. The catch is you got to wash your own socks. Cigar again. Is that so? Yes. Would you let him have a cigar again? Have he sold you any insurance? Come on, lady. You need a kiss. No, he was just telling us that he thought you needed some more. That, you know, she might like my... No. You're like another 100,000 she needs. No, I don't need any insurance. I don't intend to go anywhere. No, but I thought you were going to make me the beneficiary. No, I don't intend to go. If I can't, if I can't take it with me, I'm not going. And that's the truth. <laughs> In fact, um... Don't you wish he was your son? No, I have very lovely sons. Oh, I like that innuendo. I have two very lovely sons. And I might add, and you might be the first to know it, 
that there stands the next president of interstate drug. Who? Oh, this coming week. <laughs> Him? You kidding me? Coming? I'm not kidding you. You know That's this is going to be shown in maybe 10,000 theaters and you're saying that he's going to be a president? <laughs> the next president of the state, this guy? I am. I am. Are you retiring president. or getting married? Which no, one? I'm not retiring and I'm not getting married, but he's the next president of interstate. When? Next week. And you becoming chairman of the board? Right. Oh, I knew you're not going to quit. <laughs> What did you think of Mrs. Sandler? What? What did you think of Mrs. Sandler, the lady we just filmed? Well, you know, she's like a coconut. Hard on outside, but when you penetrate the hard shell, you get the sweet milk. Yeah, but that's some shell, man. I know that, but when you penetrate it, you got sweet coconut milk. Tough one. Yeah. Well, yep, about you know, his son? I mean... I would tell you about something about Mrs. Sandler. I charmed her, and I said, look, I'm selling you the best insurance in the world, I give you the best service in the world, and this you gotta pay for. If you see a heart specialist, you gotta pay more than if you see a regular practitioner. Well, I'm a specialist, and the practitioner may want to kick back to you, but I, as a specialist, cannot afford to kick back to you. She accepted that. You taking any people from Las Vegas, really? I mean, any girls? We're taking Laura uh, K. this movie starlet. Uh, she will be taking her to Las Vegas. And we're having Jackie Morris meet us from Palm Springs. That's where she lives. Who's Jackie Morris? A gorgeous um, starlet who does waitress jobs on the side and then we're having a socialite called named Gloria Riga. Where are we going now? See Lou Sloves is coming he's coming to us he's coming with us tonight. Lou Sloves is coming with us. <laughs> yeah he happens to be the owner of seven jewelry stores. Did my girl send you a bill for the you bought a policy two months ago, remember? And you paid for that. Yeah. Two months ago. Now we just sold you one last week. Yeah. You took your electric cardiogram. Yeah. You took your X-ray. Yeah. I saw the doctor uh, yesterday, yeah, and he said they were normal with his, in his opinion. Yeah, now the insurance company pretty sure say it's normal too, but I want to cover you on it. So my girl sent you a bill on it. Do you get the bill? Yeah, when you're paying for it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you working? Yes, uh, yes. Take a picture. You want to get film? It's going to be shown. Yes. Where? The movies. Everywhere. How old are you? Nineteen. Wow, you look like you're nineteen. Hold your stomach in. The way she's built, take your jacket off. Come on. Hey, you start this again. Oh, cut it. Lou, yes. Lou, we got the x-ray on you. Yes. We got the electric cardiogram on you. Yes. We got the medical on you. We got the home office specimen on you. We got the heart chart on you. You're in perfect shape. Am I covered? As soon as you mail in the check. When you mailing it? Monday? Monday. What's today? Friday? Yeah. Monday, you mail in the check. Once it's postmarked, Once you're covered. Once it's postmarked, I'm covered? Once it's postmarked, you're covered. Oh, this is on it's right on the film because okay. EKG, X-ray, uh, EKG, okay, X-ray, right, home, go. Go. everything was done. But by the way, Wendy, we'll one more thing. Vegas. No, Wendy, we'll see you we'll at the airport. Yeah. One more thing. Yeah. Wendy, you want to bring any, Wendy right. with you tonight? You want to go to Las Vegas? We'll go to Las Vegas tonight. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. Why? You can I got a date. Can't take a date. Huh? Wear a bikini. You got a million days. Hey, did you get Wendy? Hey, just get Wendy. You got to get, we hold did. your stomach in. No, no, hold the stomach in real good. I got it, I got it, I got it. Hold it in good. We got to go. Hurry, come on. Get this last one. We got it. Hurry, come on. We got it. Get the shot here. I know. Get the shot. Go. Got, got it. Got it. Oh, no. Okay. Come on, Murray. Got to go. See you, baby. Bye. So long. Hey, Murray. Hey, you gotta get out. Kiss me goodbye. Come on, Murray. Come on, Murray. Murray, we gotta go. Murray. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. Gotta go. Late, 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 late. We're on the high schedule. High schedule.